What is going on crypto fam? This is your boy Jay from How to Crypto coming back with another video and as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail today's subject is going to be on will people ever stop investing in lending platforms but before we get to the video i want to give a big shout out to you guys all those who have watched my videos all those who have subscribed all those who have commented and all the future subscribers thank you guys i could not have done with this without you guys and that is getting to 700 subscribers i know it's a small thing to get excited about guys but i have come up so fast in so little time and i owe it all to you guys you know from the bottom of my heart i really thank you guys you know i've received a lot of love a lot of positivity and i've made some great friends you know from other youtubers as well as some of my subscribers and it's just been an incredible ride guys i hope you know that we continue to ride together as long as we can you know um it, it's a big milestone for me like i said um i never thought that i would be here so fast i remember the very first day i released a video every time i got to like 20 views i would be happy and if i got like two subscribers i would be happy and it, it's just incredible you know how fast this channel has grown and it's because of you guys, you know, you guys watching the videos, you guys liking them, you guys commenting and sharing them and recommending me to your friends. I, I really do, guys, you know, appreciate all the love, all the support. Well, for without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. So the subject of the video came to me the other day when ZooCoin exit scam. I was asking myself why, right? Why do ke people keep investing in these things and will they ever stop? And my answer is no, they won't stop. Why? Because of the hopes and dreams that think these things promise, right? Now, again, they don't have to say that they promise you wealth and, you know, all the riches in the world. But, you know, you start making decisions based off emotion when you see that type of money, right? In all these compound calculators, guys, if you put in simple numbers, you know, it says you can invest $5,000. You know what I'm saying? And then two years, you'll be, you know, almost a millionaire. And of course, that sounds great. And you don't sit there and you don't stop and you don't think of anything. You know, you're just so focused on reaching whatever goals you have with that money that you're going to earn. You know, and a lot of people may call that greed, but I don't call it greed. Um, I call it greed when you've done this multiple times and you've seen the outcomes of the times prior to this and then you continue to invest so what i mean by that is if you have seen you know bitconnect devor lupix falcon and zook and then you invest in another this is where i say either i don't want to offend anyone but you're either really dumb i'm sorry or you're just really greedy right if it seems too easy guys this is what i learned and it seems too good to be true then it probably is right and when i joined devor i knew it sounded way too good to be true and these returns that i was getting were massive you guys could go through my library of videos and say and view you know my videos when i was making 500 600 almost 700 dollars a day at times and that made me feel great right and that made me feel invincible that made me feel wealthy that made me feel like a whole nother person you know, in my mind, I was like, I made it, right? I made it. Like, I am no longer in the rat race. I found a way to escape. I found a way to make money passively without having to work. And that's just incredible, guys, right? Not many people make, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars a day. Not many people do that, right? You know, for instance, me, I only make about... $245 roughly a day at my job, right? And to see me getting double, sometimes triple of what I make without doing anything was like, you know what I'm saying? It was like dynamite. And I had these plans, what I was going to do with that money. I was going to buy my friend a car. I was going to buy my sister a car. I was going to invest in some real estate, buy some more altcoins, set my family up. And all that is what you think about, but you never really question, you know, the methods on how this money is being made and who is making this money for you. So right off the bat, you're blinded. You know, you're blinded of what could be 
and you're not seeing what's right in front of you. You know, most of these platforms, they give you a front, you know, that they're great people and that they do have a plan. And most of these platforms is, you know, either trading Bitcoin on its uh, volatility or doing arbitrage, marketing, etc. And when I invested into Devor, you know, I, I did little research and I was basically going on the fact that BitConnect had been up for roughly two years, right? I think it's like a year and eight or nine months, something like that. So I was like, okay, well, if this fails, this will not fail so soon. I think it, you know what I'm saying? Like it, my worst case scenario that I had in my head was, well, they'll probably, uh, f you know, fail after the second or third uh, capital release dates. But as we all know, they didn't even get to capital release. And I was out $25,530. Now, it wasn't more than it I could afford to lose, but it did hurt, right? My friend and I, you know, we, we, <laughs> we went all in and we lost, right? And like I said, we took that loss, we turned it into a lesson, and that's why I'm here. So people are very similar. You know, us people are very similar, have very, very similar trains of thought. And I'm pretty sure what I just said is probably the same thing that all of you guys thought and did when you guys were receiving, you know, say these sort of payments, right? But like I said, if you are investing after the fact that you have seen so many of these things go down, I, I don't know like where your head's at. Uh, I can't tell you not to, right? Um, I will tell you, but I can't force you not to invest in these things because it's your money. You worked for it. And at the end of the day, it's your choice. I will always try to warn, but please be diligent. Please do your research. Please have a plan before you invest in these things, guys. The thing is, is that at the end of the day, people have to either take a loss, a few losses before they take any advice. And that's just human nature. You know, we don't we don't learn by people telling us like literally something has to happen in order for us to actually listen. And that's what's horrible. Right. We've seen five lending platforms go down. If you invest after the fact, then <laughs> again, I don't know. Um, you have to learn that these things are designed to fail. And I can't prove that. But I also can't prove that the tooth fairy isn't real either. Right. I can't prove that the flying spaghetti monster isn't real. But I'm almost 100% sure that these things are designed to fail. They have a quota. They meet it. They scam out. Okay. So back to the question. Will they ever stop investing these things? No. Again, the, the hopes that this will work out will be fueling, you know, their greed. And I hate to call it that, but... Like I said, if you're still investing these things after the fact, then it is pure greed or pure ignorance. Not even ignorance because you know what's going on. At this point, it would have to be stupidity. And I don't mean to sound that way and I don't want to come off as calling anyone stupid. But if you're investing heavily in these things, you know, um, there's a difference if you, you know if you have some extra cash on the side and oh, well, let's throw two, three hundred into this and. Let's see. Let's watch it right out. And you, you could afford to lose that money. It's your play money. Then that's totally fine. But if you're taking out second mortgages on your home, selling your cars, selling, you know, your your belongings, taking out loans. then I don't know what to tell you. You know, this is pure, pure greed, pure stupidity. When when you've seen that these things have gone down, it's different than if you've uh, put all these um, if you would have had invested in all of these platforms prior to the BitConnect scam, exit scam, right? Because I know Falcon was around. I know uh, Zook was around. I know uh, Devor was around. And a couple of them were around before BitConnect exit. So if you had been in those before the actual exit, then I understand. That's fine. We were still seeing that BitConnect was doing fine. And the whole lending platform space was okay. You know, there was no signs of worry. There was nothing for us to actually worry about because BitConnect was still up. And that was my whole thing. Look, I'm like, look, BitConnect's going to make it two years 
and they're still fine. So I don't see why DeVore wouldn't make it at least a year. That was my train of thought, and that might have been your guys' as well. But if you are investing these things after you guys have seen all of this happen, then again, I don't know what's up with you. But guys, um, people will, are going to continue to do this out of ignorance. Not, not of ignorance, out of... Um, I don't I want to use a nicer word than stupidity, but uh, I really can't find one. And I hope, you know, this doesn't come off as like me being a ass, but, you know, out of greed. And I understand, right? As I always say when I make the, the exit scam videos is I understand that we want to be able to become financially free. We want to be able to help our family and friends become financially free. I know, you know, you have your eyes set on that new car or your first car, a new home or your first home, or putting your kids through college. These are all, you know, good reasons to want to invest into something. And it doesn't make you a bad person, right? It, it, it You're a good person because you, you're trying to do this to help yourself out and to help some other, someone else out. You know, by providing a future, a stress-free future, because we all want to be financially free. We all want to have the time because money, that's the best part of money is that it can buy you time, right? Not in the sense that it can ex uh, extend your life expectancy, but, you know, you don't have to spend those eight to 10 hours away from your friends and family when you have that type of money, right? And it buys you back those eight to 10 hours every single day for five days a week or six days a week if you work that much and that you can spend it with those that you love, right? But um, it, it's just not true, guys. Not at the moment, not with these platforms. There are ways to do this. You know, there's very, there's a, a millions of successful people out there and there's other ways to do this, but these things are designed for us to fail. And it's time for us to realize that things, these things are designed to fail. These guys are not out here to make us rich. These guys are only out here to take our money. So what I would do, guys, is stop investing in these things. Invest them in more tangible things. So I always say altcoins, the safest investment would be Bitcoin, stock market, real estate. And I know those have crashed before, guys, but their expectancy is much, much longer than these things. Right, right now. You know, the average is what, like four or five months, okay? And they keep getting shorter, right? So invest in other things. I know it, it's hard to let go of that dream of, of being rich. Trust me, you know, I've been there. But we have to cut those emotional ties to a dream that is being sold without any real value. All right, guys, well, that pretty much sums up my thoughts and opinions on the subject Guys, if my videos do bring any value to you and your crypto journey, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Blast this all over your social media so we can get the how to crypto word out there in the crypto space. If you guys have any video suggestions, go ahead and drop it in the comment section and I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you guys can be the first to be notified when I do upload a new video. As always, take care out there in the crypto streets. I'm out for tonight, guys. Peace.